Hello, uh, we are here in NDSU in the experimental station in Fargo. And uh, here's an experiment of cover crops with different species. And I want to talk about uh, the benefits of each one of these uh, crops in uh, the soil and also in the following crop. In cover crops, we have two main groups of uh, different cover crops. Those are in grasses and those, they're either legumes or other types of plants. And within the grasses that we have here, we have warm seasons and cool season grasses. On the warm seasons, we have things like sorghum, Sudan grass, and millet. And in the cool seasons, and the ones you can see here, we have triticale, winter rye, winter cereal rye, and forage barley, forage oats, and we have over there too, uh, annual rye grass. In the warm season grasses, uh, the main ones that are used as cover crops, we have forage sorghum, Sudan grass, and we have millet, which is here, foxtail millet, the Siberian type. And all of these are very good cover crops when planted early in the season, I mean in July or early August, because uh, they need a lot of heat to grow. These cover crops are very good for prevented planting because they pick up a lot of moisture in the soil when the soils are very wet. Warm season cover crops like these ones also can be used as forage. So if the farmer has the interest in grazing on or harvesting these for forage, uh, these are very good sources. In sorghum, there are some types of sorghum. They have a, uh, they have a marker called BMR or brown midrib. You can see here in the left side, the midrib is brown and the right side is white. Cool season cover crops or grasses, cereal grasses are one of the most common cover crops farmers use. Here we have uh, spring triticale, winter cereal rye, forage barley, and forage oats, and also we have annual rye grass. Of all of these ones you see here, uh, the most used is winter cereal rye. And the reason is this is the only one of these uh, cereal uh, grasses that sort of survives the winter. Uh, this is important because it will protect the soil now, but it also will regrow in the spring and provide the green cover until the next crop is planted. This is a forage barley. It's, uh, it's used as a cover crop, but it's also a very good uh, forage for hay or for uh, green chop or for silage. Forage barley is a little bit different than grain barley because grain barley has ons, which are these hairs you see here, ons, and forage barleys are onless. The reason is animals don't like these ons. This crop is uh, spring triticale. Uh, you can see it's, the leaves are very clean. That means no diseases, which makes it a very interesting crop. It's a good forage quality but it also is a good cover crop. Uh, triticale is a cross uh, between winter rye and durum wheat. It's one of the, the cover crops that we could consider in North Dakota. Um, since it was planted early, it already, already has spikes, but usually if planted in August 15 or later, you won't see those spikes. But uh, it's in, this crop draws a lot of moisture and also nutrients from the soil.